Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to tweak in the Rhino 3D model and make it look like a transparent bottle for the rendering purpose. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this Rhino tutorial, I would like to talk about this uh, transparency bottle from the Chanel uh, number no. 5. As you can see, this image right here, the bottle does have the thickness. So if you are making the model look like this, and when you go into the key shot for the rendering, it won't look good. And in this case, we need to create some sort of an interior, and interior cannot be exactly the same thickness. We need to modify a little bit. So let me show you how I do it. We are going to start it at the front view, and then we wanted to bring in any of the reference picture if you want to, and then we can draw it somewhere there. In this reference picture, I would like to align them right in the middle, but I don't know where's the middle of the picture, so I'm just going to use the move command. Snapping somewhere I think is right in the center, and just type in zero right there. And then we're just using the gumball to move it up. Now this image is way too heavy to trace, so uh, I'm going to come into my material right here. And I'm going to increase the transparency so as long as we can see a little bit. Whether the goal is not to recreate something exactly the same, I'm just using as a reference. If we want to build this bottle right here, I wanted to know what is roughly about the size right there. And then every time we are tracing something not necessary, they will be right in the middle. So I'm just going to move it outside here. It's easier for you to see. We're simply going to use the Align Center tool. And then with this one, I'm just going to type it zero right there and using the gumball to move up. So that way it will be more accurate. As you can see the bottle, it has the same distance on the corner right here, but a slightly different uh, distance on the bottom. So I'm going to try here for using the fitted curve. And with this fitted curve, I'm going to try maybe two and a half by two and a half and they go from here and here the same thing is going to apply here and here for two and a half and two and a, uh, this curve right here we want to chamfer the edges and you get something like this sorry i was talking about philip is actually chamfer uh, on the bottom here is a on the bottom here is a different chamfer so right here i'm going to try um 2.5 and the other side I'm just gonna go with the 1.5 so you can set up the different distance so this is going to be 2.5 this is going to be 1.5 for example again we're gonna 2.5 and 1.5 so then you can get different angle right there now once I have this I need to creating the thickness and I'm going to coming into the solid you have extruded planar curve and we want to go straight and we want to go both sides and for whatever thickness that you're going to have on this bottle. Okay, so now once we have the bottle, let me change to the black color. Um, I need to chamfer all the edges, but notice that the, the biggest, the chamfer edges that we have is two and a half. So I'm going to come into the um, solid tool and then you have the one is chamfer edges and we want to do two and a half if you have it bigger than that it won't look good so that's using a two and a half and see what happened now when you use a two and a half right here you see it's kind of giving a, another faces right there and there's another faces right there if that is not what you want uh, we actually are chamfering, only need to chamfer this size and this size. We don't need to have the one in the middle. And then that one will look better like what I have in mind for that bottle. Okay, so now while we have this one, if we just making a copy by dragging the gumball and then hit the all key, and then you will have the copy in there. Let me turn the copy into other color. See if the thickness is and everything is fitting into what you want, right? Now, when you have the bottle like this, and then this is going to give you exactly the same thickness 
uh, from the edge to the side. Well, not actually exactly, but it's close, right? Because we just did the 3D scale. Now, what I like to have is giving more of the glass looking and then which is not straight wall right there. So what we can do from this inside, we need to, we need to alter it a little bit. Let me hiding outside right here and just showing what we can do with this. To make it a little bit curved on all the edges, and since this is a closed solid poly surface, as you can see on my property here, I want to use the cage edit command. Remember not cage, we want to cage edit. Okay, it will ask you something right here on the top that you have bounding box. And then we want to align to the wall, just hit enter. And then you can decide it X, Y, Z, how many points that you want. For the X count, I'm going to have six of them. For the Y count, I'm going to uh, maintain it four. The Z, I need to have a little bit more. So I'm going to have uh, eight of them. And then hit enter. And then you're going to see the box and also the point. What are those uh, is we are going to pick up those and also pick up the one in the middle. And then you can see how I choose and left the corner there. And I simply just going to scale it down, holding my gumball with a 3D scale. And uh, if this one doesn't go obvious right here, I might want it to want the scale from my top view. So overall, you can see they are kind of squishy in the middle a little bit. And if I open my bottle back to turn it back here, you can see there's an interior right there. Now, if it is a rendering purpose, that's fine. You will see it because it's a transparent. But if you are going to make it happen uh, into the prototype, you need to actually punching a hole through, right? So that way you can have um, this for printed out for the prototype. Let's start making the things on the top first. Again, we are going this time. I want to go with the box tool. And with this box tool, I simply just going to draw something like this roughly like this and bringing this box to the top scale it up to fitting into whatever design that you have and i'm going to use the align tool to align vertical center and just type it zero here and the same thing i wanted to on the top view i'm actually going to align in the centers and just type it zero right here so then we have this box on the top See if this is the size that you want. If it does, let's go ahead to use the chamfer edges. And this time, let's try something a little bit smaller. Let's try two. And I want all of them to be two. So then we'll get something like this, right? Now, what is in the middle to connect it is pretty much a cylinder. Or what you can do is you can draw the profile and revolve. A uh, cylinder might be easier. Uh, to to for thinking about it so i'm going to starting something in the middle and to try something look like this and going up and this one i actually want them to go a little bit deeper and that's where maybe not that deep like this this is going to connect it with this one and then for the, the bottle to pull it up all together we also need the outside shell i'm going to make in this one making a copy and maybe this one is way too big let me scale it down a little bit and then have that one maybe that's still too big and have that one uh go longer well in fact i don't like this coming down right here but it's up to you how you like to have your design I think I may have this one need to go thicker in order to fit the design. So let me change something a little bit right here because I really don't like the way that this uh, cylinder is hanging right here. If you if you I turn the render to show you, you're going to see this hanging right there and it doesn't look good, right? So I need to actually have this one go a little bit thicker in one direction to avoid the hanging over there. Okay, so this one need to be a little bit thinner. All right, so this is the outside shell and this is will be the inside shell and we have something like that. Now for this outside shell and whether it's outside or inside, we need to have it punching all the way 
to the bottom, right? So I'm going to have the one in the middle and make them a bit longer and then bring it down and make sure it is touching there. I'm also going to making a copy there and hide it there so I can use a, exactly the same interior for the cap here. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna have this one and this one as a surface and we are going to trim this one right here and this one right here. Okay, so let me hide in this one. And as you can see from my top view, I'm also going to use this surface right now and I'm going to trim off this surface on the top and also this surface for the exterior. So now you can see I have the opening right there and then this surface is 100% connecting to, to those, right? So once you are done, just go ahead to join all of them and double make sure this is a closed solid poly surface. So now we have an interior that we can go in, right? Um, then we're gonna turn it back for what we have there. Uh, with this one, this, we do also need to have some sort of a circle looking things. So this one, it's going to creating a torus. And for this torus, it's going to starting from the zero and gonna come in over something like this, gonna go a little bit bigger. And then we have this donor ship right here and this donor ship is going to come in over here. I can make them bigger make sure they are in the right place. All right, and then with this one, I simply just going to make them a bit shorter coming over something like this. All right, with this one, let's go ahead to copy and paste one more time. And we are going to Boolean union those two. And then with those two, it's going to be Boolean difference with those. So you need to have something interior in mind, like this is going to be the interior. And now we have this, they are sharing exactly the same uh, interior. And with this one, we're going to Boolean union together. So if I move this cap, just hiding it, you're going to see I have a bottle going all the way inside, right? Now with this one, right now we are going to uh, turn it back with the bottle and depends on how deep that you this, want this bottle to be inside. This is of course is way too deep. I'm going to move it up with this one and maybe a little bit shorter. So it's just coming into here. And this one and this one is going to Boolean union together. So then I'm going to change the color for this one. You can see now I have the cap and I also have, you know, the interior. Now, how do we in making the more like a water, any of the water type of things inside, maybe the perfume you're using half of them is I'm going to extract the surface of whatever inside there. So we just need whatever inside in there, not the outside. So if you accidentally to select them, just deselect them, right? So we want to extract those. And uh, once you hit enter, we quickly just want to copy past, right? And picking that one, I'm going to move it into the other layer. So now let's go back to join everything back that we just extracted. So we're just gonna join them. Then turn on this layer right there. This green one will be our liquid inside of the bottle. Now let me join them together and then you can kind of draw a curve. I like see how you want this, how much of a liquid you want them to be, you know, to, to be left in there. So let's say I'm going to draw a line there and I'm going to extrude it with the gumball move it back here with this surface i'm going to trim it off of the things on the top and i'm also going to use the rest of them to trim this surface right there so now i have this one as a solid let's go ahead to join them let me turn back the bottle right here so now we have the bottle with the interior and then we have the liquid and then, then we have the cap here all right, let's take a look on how it rendered in the key shot. 
So I'm using a Keyshot 11 right here. First of all, I wanted to just give a solid material to my Keyshot. And then um, with the interior, for the inside, it's going to be something yellow. So I'm going to assign the glass material again to inside. So there will be some yellow material right there. Notice that its surface is a little bit overlapping there. So with this one, I want to turn on the position. Actually, I do want them to, to be scaled uh, a little bit smaller. So you don't have that overlapping surface there. So all we need to do is do tiny smaller, just like few uh, point right there and then that way you won't see that now you can also in the key shot they do have something for liquid maybe we can use this one so let me assign the material to the inner layer to be liquid all right so this will be the render uh, view quickly i have a key shot playlist to have all my setting there if you're interested in key shot that you can take a look on all of them uh, I want to turn the environment into the white background so then the bottle will look nicer. Uh, also, uh, this might be too sharp even it has a facet. So I'm going to come into the scene, pick up my bottle, and then the property here on the bottom that have a radius, I just want to give it something really small. So let's say 0.1 and that will catch a light for a lot of uh, uh, maybe 0.2. Uh, that will catch the light for a lot of uh, edges there and then they will look nicer. In my lighting, I might want to use the set it up for the lighting preset for the jewelry so they will come up better. And then Keisha has a steel render uh, view so that way when you every time when you're moving it will look a little bit grainy and when you let it sit it there a little bit longer and that will be better. So I just run a quick render uh, on this one to show you what it's gonna look like. You may want to um, do a sample of uh, environment lighting as you can see I have some reflection right there. I may need to add a panel light here and there. But I uh, just want to quickly to show you what you can make the bottle look more realistic by tweaking some part in your Rhino. Hope you like the video. I have a lot more tricks and tips in my membership program. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.